Hello YouTube, knives and stuff. And today I got a really nice multi-tool for you. It's the Leatherman Juice S2. Different variations of this ha have been made, but each one gets amazing reviews, and I had to see why. So I got the Leatherman Juice S2, Cinnabar Orange on this handle. This is the new generation. It weighs about 4.6 ounces. Move that out of the way. And it feels great in the hand. I carry it every day, never leave home without it. Great uh, main tool pliers right there. I think it's a uh, high carbon steel, so you're going to have to take good care of it. On the inside, you have one Phillips head screwdriver right there, a retractable lanyard hole, and three different flathead bits. They're all easy to take out. They have a nice little nut knob thing there. Just pull it out. Thumb nick, nail nick. I think is the better term for it. Really strong detent. Nice one-handed opening can opener slash bottle cap lifter. And you have to open that in order to get to the scissors. These are really generously sized scissors, let me tell you. And And they do their job really nicely. I mean, I've had other multi-tools, but the scissors are always too small to do anything with, or they're flimsy, they fall apart. This has a really nice spring right there. And it's really nice. I love it. I use it every day. And the knife on this is also pretty nice. It's kind of a sheep's foot blade, because it comes up there. Let me get it to focus. Here you go. And the knife came razor sharp, and it still is. And it's really easy to get an edge on this, and I like it a lot. Overall, it's a really quality, strong little multi-tool that I carry with me every day. It does get a li little heavy in the pocket, and I think that could be fixed, or I could just get a sheath for it for my belt. And, I mean... I really like this multi-tool. I haven't had any other Leathermans really in the past. I had a super tool, but I can't really carry that with me every day. This I can, and I'm proud to carry this every day. So what it comes with now, this Leatherman's information tells you all about this. It's 420 HC steel. And it just explains all the tools in there for all the different models, which I actually enjoy. I like that it came with that. And, I mean, it's a small tool, but the pliers can do heavy-duty jobs. I mean, I've tightened bolts with them, pried stuff with them. I mean, I'm going to get to a demonstration, but that's it for right now. Alright, so the first tool we're going to test the pliers. So I brought out some cotter pins and we're just going to take the cotter pin that was a nice job. Let's try it one more time very strong tool Okay, next up, we're going to be testing the wire cutters on the Leatherman. So, I got some florist wire here, and we're just going to... Run through that, no problem. Next up, some zip ties. A little tougher. Alright, and last up, some picture hanging mini braided cable. I 
I'd also like to mention there's a little wire stripper in there, if you could see it, a little cutout, and that works amazing too. Okay, right, now we're going to take a look at the Phillips head bit, and by the way, on the inside here, I don't know if you could see it, but let me bring over some light. The liners are actually skeletonized in there, which I think is a nice weight saving feature. So, let's take a look at this. It's actually really comfortable in the hand, except for the whole falling out part. You get some nice leverage. Okay, that works. It's a screwdriver, it should work. And next up, I'm only going to take one of the flathead screwdrivers since there are three. And I, I figure they're all going to do the same thing. But let's just see the little one. I got to tighten my glasses. It actually works really nicely for glasses, the small screwdriver on here. Okay, so let's talk price on this. Now, you're looking at around $50, but in my opinion, it's completely worth it. You might want something smaller, so you might want to go with a Leatherman uh, squirt or a Leatherman style if that fits what you're looking for, but keep the Leatherman juice in mind. Please uh, follow me on Twitter at KnifeGuy96 and I'll be having more videos to you in a little bit. Thanks.